guys, I'm Mia. Welcome to or back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I bullet journal and journal. I'm going to be planning out my journal for April. Today is Friday the 27th of March, so we are so close to April and I'm super duper excited. I have literally no plans for April because we're all in quarantine at the moment. I'm still going to plan for April though because I can still plan my school and just things that I want to do. If you know me, then you know that I like to be so organized and make my notes look cute. I really don't like it when people just write the whole thing in just one color it just really bothers me I like it to be colorful original and creative so if you guys would like to see how I bullet journal and journal then keep on watching so this is the book that I use to do all my journaling this is actually just a poker pad but I just decorated the front with stickers because I didn't really like the way the front looked and then in my journal I have these three dividers so the first divider says bullet journal so this is where I do all my bullet journals then the next one says journal so that's where I like write about my day and it's not as fancy and organized and then the last one is notes so I just take any notes that I have in that section so I'm gonna go over to my desk so I can show you guys how I bullet journal so before this video I was just scrolling through Pinterest and I found some really cute inspiration so as I already said I'm gonna be bullet journaling for April today and I'm gonna start off with the bullet journaling section in the front I just have little stickers so if I need to use them then I will but I don't usually and as you can tell this is a new bullet journal because I haven't written anything in it yet so first of all I'm gonna talk about the pens that I use for bullet journaling. So these are the Paper Mate Ink Joy pens and they are so good. They're literally my favorite pens. So I definitely use these pens when I'm doing bullet journaling because it makes it look so much cuter. So I use these highlighters for bullet journaling and I lost the pink one and it's kind of annoying but it's okay. I can still make cute notes with these. And then lastly I use the Paper Mate Flare pens. So now I'm going to get on to showing you guys what I do in my bullet journal. So I finished doing the base of my front cover and now I'm going to add the colour. If I'm wanting to make a really vibrant colour then I will use these flare pens. So I usually just use the pastel colours like the pink, the purples and the blues. So I'm basically just going to draw on the flowers to the stems that I made. But first I'm going to draw all the stems in black. I just do this so they are more bold and I find it so satisfying when you erase the pencil at the end of it. So I have finished doing two pages of my bullet journal and I think they turned out so cute. This is my cover page for April so I just have April written in the middle and then I drew loads of flowers around. Because when I think of April I think of flowers, Easter, I just think of outdoors when I think of Easter. So then my next page I also did it flower themed and this is just the days of April so every day I can just mark off the day that I'm on. I'm going to finish the rest of my bullet journal for April and then I'll come back to you guys because I don't want to make this video too long and boring so I'll just show you guys guys when I'm done. So it has been a very, very, very long time and I've just been working on my bullet journal. I think I'm done getting the base in of my bullet journal for April. If I need to add any pages, then I definitely will. If you want to start bullet journaling, just know that it takes a really long time and you kind of need to commit to it because it does take a lot of effort and time. But I'm just going to bring you guys through the pages that I did for April. My next page, I have this mood tracker. So I decided to do my mood tracker with Polaroids and flowers. I think I'm going to add some more flowers to the whole design. So it kind of goes with the theme. But then I also have flowers at the top. And then basically every day, so say it was the first day, if I'm feeling like in the middle, then I just color in the little Polaroid in blue. I feel like at the end of the month, looking back at how I was feeling, I can turn all the negatives into positives. And I feel like it will be so cool to see how I was feeling on those specific days. So my next page is probably one of my favorites and this is just the weekly view. So this is what it looks like. I just have April and then the dates there. I have a little to-do box and then I just have all my days here. And I decided to stick with a the flower theme and I also drew flowers on the side. I think it's so cute. This is only one of the weeks of April so I do need to draw a lot more weeks. But this is just going to be the starting week and then I feel like every weekend I will draw my next week or when I have time. 
time. So yeah, that's all I did for my bullet journal and that is how I bullet journal. Now I'm gonna move on to the journaling which is a bit more simple and less complicated. So for journaling, the first thing that I do is I will always write the date at the top of the paper. So then if I ever wanna look back at it, I will know what day it was and like what year and stuff. So I definitely write the date at the top and then I kind of just start writing. I start from the beginning of my day and just continue it to the end. So I write about everything that's going on, how I'm feeling. And I feel like because of all the stuff going on in the world, it will be so weird to look back at it, say in a couple years, if I still have this. And I don't know, I just find it really cool. And I definitely think journaling is a good thing to just get things off of your mind. And just to kind of put it all on paper and write down any assignments you have to do. Just write down everything that's on your mind. So that is what I do. I literally just write whatever comes to my head and yeah so I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you got some inspiration from it anyway thanks for watching bye